Hello, I'm Paula Thompson here with Jacinta Rose to talk about what's in this week's Stock Journal. On our front page this week is one of the biggest events on the farming calendar, the York Peninsula Field Days. Thousands flocked to Pascaville this week for the three-day event. Field Day President Nick Coral said there was plenty of interest in track machines as a way to help farmers deal with compaction issues and the South Australian debut of a machine designed to rip up hard pan while leaving behind a good seed bed. Mr Coral said seasonal prospects and farmer confidence had improved in time for the field days. This week's Stock Journal also includes our latest Rural Agenda four-page feature, looking at modern farming business models. The average age of the Australian farmer at 56 is increasing and the next generation are often returning to the farm later or only on a part-time basis. In 2014, the GRDC reported that 30 to 40 per cent of farmers had not discussed succession with their spouse while 50 to 60 per cent had not spoken about succession with their farm-based children. This is beginning to change though, with more farms becoming corporate in their approach and also increasing their use of mediators and business consultants. This month's Rural Agenda takes a look at some modern farm business models and services available to farmers, as well as factors to consider when planning succession. SA Water has released indicative water prices for the Northern Adelaide Irrigation Scheme, which have not only raised concerns about the cost, but also the potential for a flooded domestic market because of increased vegetable supply. The scheme is expected to deliver recycled water to the region in 2019. SA Water has put forward a medium water price of 49 cents a kilolitre and up to 99 cents a kilolitre for higher quality water suitable for greenhouse systems. Virginia greenhouse grower Con Lafsis said although he could use more water to expand production, he would not apply for an allocation under the new scheme due to the cost. SA Water's Jim Maguire said the aim of the scheme was not limited to increase water supply, but also to create a new northern Adelaide agri-food precinct that was sustainable and export focused. And finally, it might only be September, but the 2017-18 South Australian harvest is underway, with Viterra receiving the first load for the season at Port Pirie on Tuesday. The Spartacus barley was delivered by the Bussenshot family from their Mambray Creek property. The crop had been sprayed out with glyphosate nine days prior for weed control, so was classed as F1. Ben Bussenshot said the harvest generally got underway in the region early, with the same start date two years ago, but Viterra Group Operations Manager Michael Hill said the delivery was two weeks earlier than last year. That's it for this week. Make sure you grab a copy of Stock Journal.